lovelies welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a Lemmy Beauty inspired makeover on my sister and once I saw this look on Lemmy Beauty I was like I need to do this look on my sister and I'm first starting off with brows I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame brow pomade in espresso by the way guys there is another youtuber called Mileth Martinez I hope I'm saying that right but she did a similar kind of video on her sister where she did inspired a Lemmy Beauty look and I saw that a while back and that kind of inspired me to do kind of the same um concept like on my sister but I did use a different look but anyways I really love that video and I will link it in the info box if you guys want to go watch that video um she did a really really great job on her sister and yeah here I'm setting her brows in place using the L'Oreal brow artist plump uh, in medium dark as an eye base i'm using the maybelline instant age rewind concealer in nude and then i'm using this mua eyeshadow palette in undress me 2 i believe i will write all the products in the info box but i'm just using a matte shade in that palette to set that concealer in place and then i'm using the jacqueline hill favorites palette by morphe um, this eyeshadow palette is limited edition but you can get the individual eyeshadow colours from the Morphe website so if I can find the individual names of the colours I will write them in the info box as well but I'm using the burgundy shades um, in the palette because literally I, that's the only drugstore palette that I have that has burgundy colours in it so I went in with that light burgundy colour first and used that in the outer corner of the eye and then I used a deeper one and I'm using this in the crease and also um, on the outer V of the eye as well and by the way guys this is like a full drugstore tutorial so I hope you guys um, appreciate that I literally had a hard time finding some of the colours for the eyeshadows but I managed so <laughs> Once I was done using that last deep burgundy colour to deepen the crease a bit, I did go in with the first colour that we used to set the concealer on the brow bone and next I'm using these two light pinky shades from the palette in the centre of the eye, on the centre of the eye I mean, and I did wet it with um, some um, NYX dewy fi finish spray. I cannot speak, I cannot speak, this happens to me all the time. Uh, next I am using the NYC liquid eyeliner in black to create a wing liner and I did use a wipe to sharpen that wing a bit and for lashes I'm using the Classy Lashes UK in Stevie and whilst I was doing the glue I did ask her to put some mascara on and it was the Lash Sensational Mascara in Intense Black so yeah, um, when I put the eyelashes on, she likes to pinch them together and I like to push them up a bit so they flare, up, flare out a bit more. And then here I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer Corrector in orange just to colour correct around her mouth area because if we don't do this, the foundation does go a tiny bit grey around the mouth area like it does on myself so I do this just to prevent that. For foundation today I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD foundation in tan and I'm just going to be buffing this into her skin. I'm then using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer once again underneath her eyes and I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. She actually didn't like the noise that the concealer was making. It actually sounds very wet, so she was a bit weirded out by that. But anyways, I did go under the wing of the liner just to sharpen it a bit more with the concealer. And I do like to go in the inner corner of the eye with the concealer just to brighten up that area as well. To set the concealer in place, I am using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and doing a bit of baking with that. I did leave that for a couple seconds under her eyes and I did also do a bit around her mouth and brushed it all off. I'm then using the L'Oreal Infallible Contour Sculpt Palette in medium dark to give a bit of contour to her cheeks. Um, this is a cream formula by the way. And then I used the NYX Contour and Highlight Pro Palette and I used some of the greyish tone browns in the palette to um, add a bit more warmth to her skin and I did do a bit of contouring on her nose as well 
For blusher today, I am using the EX1 blush in natural flush i believe but i will write it in the info box and i'm just lightly brushing this on her cheeks and then for highlighter i am using the l'oreal law highlighter it's such a nice a formula and it's so creamy and so easy to blend and i do prefer to use my finger with this because i just feel like it blends much easier especially if you've already put powder and stuff like that and after that i did go in with the makeup revolution radiant light highlighter in glow just on top of that just to give a nice um more radiant glow to her skin and i did brush it all over her skin to just set her makeup in place i did also go in with some nyx dewy finish setting spray just to set in her makeup and make it look extra glowy and i also did use all the burgundy colors that we used previously on her lash line on her lower lash line i mean and i just smudged that out just to make the look a bit more smokier and i also did go in with some mascara on her lower lashes as well then onto lips i'm using this max factor exile lip pencil this is the mauve one and i'm just going to line her lips with this and then in the center i'm using the sleek matte me this one's in the shade birthday suit and i'm just going to use this on the center of her lips and use a brush to kind of blend it all out and make it fade with the lip liner and i also did use some maybelline matte lipstick in nude embrace on the center as well it's just a nice nude color and it really makes the lips look a bit more plump and she pressed her lips a bit together just to blend it all out and that's all I did for the lips. I did use some NYX HD concealer in tan just to clean the edges and make it look nice and tidy. Um, and that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more inspired makeup tutorials. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button before you go. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.